So let's take a look at this basic altitude calculation in a little more detail. The laser goes down from the plane to the ground, reflects off the ground, and returns to the plane. You might remember from your physics or math class in high school that speed is distance over time. Rearranging that equation, solving for distance, gives us speed times time. Plugging in the value of 300 million for the speed of light and a reasonable amount of time for the laser to come back up. Remember, we're only using half the time. The laser goes down and back, but we just want to use half that time to calculate the distance one direction. Well, if you plug those numbers into a calculator, you get 510 meters. Nice work.